follow the internet. It is Monday, the 12th of June, 2017. Day two here at Vatia Beach Eco Lodge. I've just woken up, feeling a bit um, a bit crunchy in the throat. One of the, um, one of the, I was gonna say one of the vests. I was combining volunteers and guests. One of the volunteers here has been ill the last couple of weeks. We did have carver last night where we all shared the bowl. I'm gonna go upstairs and dose up on multivitamins. Then we're gonna see what the day holds here. As part of your experience here at the Vatia Beach Eco Lodge, you get breakfast. This morning we have some kind of coconut bun. Now I'm not sure if I've had this before. I like coconuts and I like buns. Get a few little extra guests here this morning, these guys. Hello, meow. Mm, that's actually pretty tasty. Well, breakfast was lovely. Really enjoyed those coconut buns. In fact, I had someone else's to fill me up all the way through lunch so I can skip lunch again and just have dinner. This is my first stay in an eco lodge. And as such, I do wanna give you guys all the rundown and let you make your own decision whether eco lodge experience is for you. This is my room, which I showed you slightly yesterday. I will give you more of a tour now. The bed was terrific last night. It was one of those firm, like this is a firm bed, really felt perfect. I mean, I don't like soft beds, so I was laughing. That was great. Mind you, I did have to use pajamas for the first time in Fiji. Got a little bit cold last night and I whacked on my long thermals. Didn't expect to do that here. This is the bathroom. Now, we're obviously running here on rainwater only. It's not hot water. You don't need hot water in Fiji. I don't mind that. Single shower head with a tap and cleanliness is not really important, apparently. Water flow. So yeah, this might not be for everybody. You have to make that decision yourself. I'm here to illustrate and document, and this is uh, Eco Lodge experience. If you need to take a crap, this is where you do it. On this Fiji trip of mine, I've had the pleasure of staying in many different resorts, lodges, some really stunning, beautiful, beautiful, presentations and layouts and look what I'm gonna say about this is you need to decide what you want if this is something that you can exist with that's fine for me not not so much I'm gonna be honest not so much I don't mind the rainwater and the lack of power and you know the eco-friendly thing that's fine I just need a little bit of cleanliness I just don't want to get sick I starting to feel a bit ill this morning but it's near the end of my run anyway, so it's all good. All I'm saying is that you gotta decide whether that's something that you wanna deal with. You can be eco-friendly, but you can also still be clean. I don't know if that's particularly clean. My thoughts only, your experience may differ. So there are paddle boards here if you wanted to take these out onto the ocean. As I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, the quality of the water here isn't that great. Check that out up here. So I'm not gonna take these out. I've just paddle boarded in Savu Savu and the waters were beautiful. Even after a bit of rain, they were beautiful. And this mud and rocks doesn't really excite me. But if you did wanna take out paddle boards, there's two here. It's like a canoe here as well. A couple of different sort of canoes. It's a big yellow one over there. So if you do wanna access the water, you can, I don't. Just a little way back up the path here on the way in, I remember seeing a, a hike trail and I wouldn't mind having a look at that. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry. There's a bunch of volunteers here at the moment clearing out the path and making the lodge more livable. Here's one here. Hey Matt, how are you? Hi, mate? hi, hi. Cool. <laughs> How's the path? Um, it's just 200 meters from your 100 yeah. meters, so it's not ready yet. Okay, we'll go and have a look anyway. Yeah, okay. Hopefully by the time you guys come to this place, this will be finished. But at the moment, it's just a work in progress. Tell you what though. I might have slept last night with pyjamas on for the first time here in Fiji, but that is still cracking hot in the day. Huh. Okay. Comes to an end here of sorts. Something in the bushes. It's a cow hoeing down. He hasn't seen me yet. spotted me. <laughs> See him stand dead still when he saw me, he's like just completely froze. I gotta be honest though, when I first heard movement up in the bush, I was a little bit kind of, what are the wild animals in Fiji? I know there's mongoose. This is a farm cow, this is all good. The way it was kind of making all that noise before I could actually see it, I just had to pause and think, wait a second, do I know all the animals here? I don't, 
What's this thing coming through the bushes? Well, at this stage, that's the end of the path. It just stops right there where that cow was. Maybe the plan is to make the trail go alongside that fence line. I don't, I don't know. At the moment, if you're gonna do a little hike, it's a very little hike, like 100 meters worth. And if hiking up a 200 meter path to see a cow is not your thing, perhaps laying in a hammock between two coconut trees could be more your style. From this vantage point here in this hammock, I'm just not 100% certain why there'd be tractor tires on the beach there. I don't, I don't get, I don't get that. If you were thinking of a tropical beach with a hammock and the palm trees and the coconuts and the drinks, and then you just looked over to your left and saw old tractor tires lining the ocean side, it's not, I don't know, it's not. I'm trying to stay positive here and trying to present a realistic view of this Vatia Beach Eco Lodge, yet I'm constantly seeing things that are just qu I'm questioning. From what I understand, this place is in its infancy. It's the beginning of its life, if you like. The idea is there. Personally, I think the idea is good, but it's in the wrong area. I don't think that you can disguise this particular part of Fiji as being anything more than what it is. And um, yeah, I'm, I need a drink to make this better. <laughs> hey, being honest, a little day trip you can take from here is to the nearest town, it's called Tavua. That's what we're doing now, after you. Downtown Tavua. Got our supplies for the next three days. Food. Also, finally got myself a bottle of Fijian rum. It's taken me almost two weeks to do this. Today, I finally bought a bottle of cheap Fijian rum. Bounty rum's not that great. I have got myself a bottle of Fijian rum. It's called Bounty. Now, I understand that this is kind of just run-of-the-mill rum. It's not the greatest rum. Tattoo, if you're watching, please correct me. This is the premium overproof. It's a bit um. Here at the Vatia Beach Eco Lodge, they don't actually have a freezer. They have what looks like a freezer, and it's on top of a fridge where a freezer normally would be. There's nothing cold inside it. It's marginally colder than the one below it, the fridge. There's no ice cubes, there's no ice cube trays. So unfortunately, I've got a bottle of pop. I'm gonna mix it, because this, this rum is pretty um. But I'm also gonna taste it first. I've got myself a glass, let's have some rum. Wow. Wow. That's actually really, really tasty. I'm a fan of my Captain Morgan Spiced Rum. Some may diss this. I know Tattoo, you don't speak highly of the Captain Morgan Spiced. But this has got elements of the spiciness, but yet it hasn't got the overpowering spice flavor. And now I'm just gonna enjoy it. I'm not gonna waffle about it. It's gonna be a sunset over water again here at the Vatia Beach Eco Lodge. Finally having a Fijian rum. Behind me you will see the remnants of a storming sunset. That was this evening. The second full day here at Vatia Beach Eco Lodge. And you would have also seen that I left the lodge to go to town to grab some rum. Little side excursion. If you're not gonna be snorkeling and you're not gonna be partaking in paddleboarding and other activities, you might wanna go into town and grab some rum too. And then you'll come back here and watch a killer sunset like we did. Speaking of rum, up in the kitchen, we're making the most incredible cocktail. It's called the Vatia Beach Rum Experience. Let's go and have one right now. Oh, that's um, we're out of time. I'm always running out of time on my vlog. Hey, if you like that content, please do me a solid and subscribe here. Check out the previous vlog here and check out a random vlog here. And if you like doing the snappity snappity clickety clack, that's photography. You might get a kick out of my Lightroom 6 presets here. Does that mean 20 seconds?